Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. All right, my friends, it is around 4.50 and I am on my way home for the day. It was a great day. It is Thursday, so that means it was Thankful Thursday and I tried something today that I've never tried before. So I set a timer for about every 90 minutes to buzz and remind me to jot down something I was grateful for within that 90 minute span. And I made some rules for myself. I wasn't allowed to like jot down like family or Steven or anything like those cliche responses. Um, and instead like really live in the moment and live in the present of like what in the last 90 minutes do I have something to be grateful for? And let me tell you what, every 90 minutes I had at least one thing to be thankful for and it really put in perspective of that our day is filled with all of these amazing moments of gratitude and thankfulness if we pay attention to them because oftentimes when we walk out the door at the end of the day all that we remember are the one to two bad things that happened or didn't make us feel great but legitimately every 90 minutes, I had a list of things to be thankful and grateful for. And it just shows you that the positive far outweigh the negative. It's just that we hold on to those negative experiences because we feel them a lot more. And what I think we need to start doing is reversing it and actually thinking that those bad things happen and go by so quickly and you've already felt the worst of it. And now it's about moving on and improving instead of losing sight of all the great things that have happened. So today was a really cool kind of like personal experiment and it felt really, really amazing. It just felt great. Today is the last night that Steven and I will be home because tomorrow we'll be uh, traveling to the mountain house that I rented and surprised Steven with early on in Vlogmas. I believe it was like Vlogmas day two or three where I surprised him with a little getaway for this weekend. We'll be gone Friday to Sunday. I don't know what the internet situation is going to be there, so um, I'm gonna ask for some patience. I will have an individual vlog for every day. I just don't know what like uploading will look like. Also, I still wanna make sure that Steven and I have time to really enjoy the trip. But um, yeah, we are going to be away. So what I've done today already is last night I planned our meals and I'm only cooking breakfast and lunch. So I ordered all those groceries on Instacart so that they're already at home waiting for us. So I just have to pull those in, organize those, and those are squared away for packing. And then I need to do some laundry. I need to just do my packing personally for the trip. And then, yeah. So tonight's a lot about getting prepared for everything. And Fun Friday will be our trip to the mountains, clearly, um, which will be so much fun. And then Scrumptious Saturday, even though I'm traveling, I still have it planned. I'm gonna show you like an amazing, easy breakfast type casserole to make for family and friends when they're there for the holidays. So that will be happening for Scrumptious Saturday. And then Simple Sunday, We'll be at the house still, but then packing up and traveling home, it'll be super simple. I was going to pre-record all of the advent calendar stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that. Instead, we might just save the advent calendars for when we come back. I'm not gonna travel with them or any of that shenanigans. I just haven't made any decisions. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Vlogmas day 12 has been treating me so well. I really love this aspect of thankfulness embedded into it. And I think lastly, the thing that I'm most thankful for right now in this moment is the fact that I have all of you to talk to. I mean, this channel, it never gets lost on me. The fact that like this doesn't exist if there isn't you. Like really, you are the driving force behind the channel. So the fact that you choose to watch and engage and comment and like and subscribe and share and all of those amazing things like this only exists because of you and 
for that, I am just so incredibly grateful. And the fact that you would want to spend any time with me is just the coolest privilege ever. And it is an honor to get to create content and share it with you and that you show interest in it. Uh, I consider so many of you, especially the ones that comment all the time, and we interact on Instagram and all of those things, like, I consider you friends. With that, I'm going to hop off here. And yeah, so when I see you, we will be home safe and sound. So we have an issue. <laughs> I ordered all the groceries. They said they were delivered at 3.55. Steven was home at four and the groceries are nowhere to be seen. This is my first issue with Instacart ever. I'm gonna do a walk around and see if they got dropped off somewhere else around the house, but, ugh. Groceries are definitely missing. I'm gonna contact Instacart, see if I can figure this out. There are no groceries. I don't know where they could have gone. I got home at 4.20. Uh, I left work at four, I got home at 4.20, and there was nothing there on the porch. Instacart is on it. Also, I opened today and I didn't get to show you guys. It is a Blanc de Blanc um, from France. I'm actually just going to throw this in the freezer and chill it and have it this evening. I circled the neighborhood. Um, there was no groceries on anyone's porch. I thought it might have been gone to next door. I tried to look too. There's, I, we went up there driving and it's not there. Bubby, let's open an advent calendar. Oh, what's today? What's whole day, what's whole day? The 12th. Come here. Where's the 12th? Uh, right here. Oh, it's a red cookie. Ooh, delicious. I also got this funky. Oh, look, he's finally taking it into the. Into the living room. Oh, that's nice. where he always eats his cookies. It's a red cookie on our nice new rug. Um, I got your melatonin. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh, you guys, this literally gets me through life is the sleep melatonin gummies from Ollie. I cannot sleep without them, which is probably not a great thing. Today is day 12. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we get. This is a coconut exfoliating cream. Oh, that smells like the beach. What feminist fun fact are we getting today? Nickname the first lady of the world, Eleanor Roosevelt was a trailblazer in her support for civil rights and a driving force behind universal declaration of human rights. I love Eleanor Roosevelt. I cannot wait to open some boxes of disappointment. Ta-da! Another one that has come unglued. This is terrific. These stationary advent calendars are disappointments. An empty box, yay! Two for two. Day 12 for our pins. It's a little flamingo. Now for everyone's favorite. Someone made a good point. This most likely is Joe because they wouldn't have let Mary alone in the stable for that long. But here's my argument. Mary's an independent woman. She can take care of herself. She don't need no man. So, Joe, let's see if you live to see another day in the stable. Day 12. This is definitely not going to be a Joe. It is another sheep. All right, things are getting real serious now. Joe might have to be downgraded for the time being to a shepherd because, I mean... We're getting too many sheep and they're gonna get out of control. We need a shepherd like yesterday. Oh, day 12.
Nargil. Oh, that smells so good. This reminds me of Amber Nargil, clearly from uh, Hermes, which is such a good fragrance. Delicious. So you should know that out of all of the calendars, I'm using the Luxatan products the most. I forget to film it because I usually open this one in the morning when I'm getting ready, but I didn't open this morning, but I have loved everything. Cherry Blossom Lotion. I might gift this one. I'm not a huge cherry blossom flowery scent person. I also want to share while I'm up here the fragrance that I've been wearing. I've been putting on Christmas tree and then layering gingerbread over it. I also have mulled cider that I use once in a while, but literally it smells like Christmas. Everyone's been complimenting me. It's just fun. Demeter's a really cool fragrance line because you can find a scent for everyone. Already talked to Instacart, so within about 45 minutes, they're already resending the order in two hours. So all is right in the world. We'll have all of our groceries for our trip. I can pack, I can prepare, all those things. I'm going to get some laundry started and all the things and start packing. And yeah. Doing the laundry segment of the vlog. I love... Well, these aren't Unstoppables, these are downy ones. But I love these little Unstoppable things. So you're watching me do laundry. It's enthralling, I know. Some people said not to go with Samsung. Can I just tell you, we have never been happier. A, I love the sink, I use it often. I just love this thing. Also, it's just so happy. Like, that's a joyful sounding washer. Love it. I love how much it holds. I'm just so, so happy with them. Love them. What are you doing? Can I get that? Can I get that? What are you playing with? Shake them. Shake them. Ready? Ready? Catch them. Yeah, and look what happens. Mayhem. Did the hook fall off? No, the hook's on the tree. I don't know where it goes though. Uh, I think it, right here. Is the hook there? Yeah. See, this is what happens when Bubba's plays near the Christmas tree. <laughs> waiting for it to fall off completely. Ready? So tonight I had all these plans to show you like the grocery packing and all of that, but now it's gonna be two hours until it arrives, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, but I can show you the unpacking when we get there tomorrow night. Um, so I'm gonna start rounding up some things, start some packing, and um, yeah, I really wanted to share the meal planning with you. So just packing up my Neverfull for some of the things I'm taking to the house this weekend. Um, I'm taking the Christmas Real Simple and the new Martha Stewart Living Magazine. Also taking Dutch Blitz. Also taking Bananagrams. Taking New in Town, Family Stone, Little Women, White Christmas, and a collection of Christmas classics with us. And then lastly, also packing my new book, Murder for Christmas, that's in there. All of my chargers, all of that stuff also needs to go in here. Oh my, that's very good. Well, my friends, because tonight has taken an unfortunate turn of events, I'm going to end this one here, um, but we'll get ready for a fun-filled weekend. And um, yeah, I'm still thankful. I'm still thankful, but I will end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.